a movie that I'm very excited about that is forthcoming, Denny Villeneuve's Dune 3. Now, there's some aspects of it that makes me not quite as excited. I have some big questions. Um, you know, Denny Villeneuve gave a big update about the project, and I think it's better if we just read uh, what he has to say. And I think that people who are who do not know a lot about the books, I'm not sure how well they're going to receive the third movie, especially the people who really liked the first two. Uh, Denny Villeneuve is making the first three movies the Paul Atreides arc. Well, he says right here in this, just recently, he gives an update. So the, he's finally out of the woods. He's ready to roll. And he says, first, it's important that people understand that for me, it was really the Dune Project, a diptych, which means a two-parter. The first two movies he sees as one movie. Right. Not. This is not a trilogy in the original sense of the word. To him, this is two movies. There's Dune Part 1, Part 2. That's one movie. And then you get into the Dune Messiah aspect, which is going to be the third movie. It was really a pair of movies that will be the adaptation of the first book. That's done and that's finished, he says. If I do a third one, which is in the writing process, it's not like a trilogy. It's strange to say that, but if I go back there, it's to do something that feels different and has its own identity. Now, here's what without getting into a whole lot of spoilers and a lot of our viewers, you, you, you know more about this than I do. And I've read the original book. I never read all of Dune Messiah, but what I do know is that we're going to experience a minimum 10 year time jump. Nick. Dune wow. Part, okay. Dune part two ends. Mm. He's going to war. It's the it's the religious war. I don't want to say the word that starts with a J and get our channel demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> but the religious war is happening. He is taking over. Um, he's going to have children. Lots of things happen to Paul Atreides before he ends up basically wandering the desert. Um, a total, I guess you, one could say shell of himself. I don't want to get into the reasons why he's wandering the desert, why he basically becomes a prophet, but the entire premise, it's going to be tricky. How do you time jump 10 years? That's a whole lot of information about Paul Atreides. And what story are you telling when you time jump 10 years? Yeah, like because... I yeah, because most people that watched the first one that didn't read the books went into the second one and it was basically just pick up where we left off, sort of very similar to Lord of the Rings. And now this time it might it could potentially be a little jarring for the yes. audience. Uh to it'll have a totally different feel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, it will make it to where like see for and I'm not saying that the majority of fans felt this way, but I know a lot of fans watched the first Dune movie. And it was a slow burn for them. I yeah. loved it. It was yeah, an A was plus for me. Yeah. All right, it was a slow burn for them. And then they go watch the second one, and it goes down. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay, I can buy this. I, yeah. I can, I can do this. Well, then you bring in the, the third movie. When those people are going back to the movies, they're expecting to pick up right where they left off. They are seeking after uh, the other the other forces, the planets, they're going to war. There's interstellar war happening in space. Paul Atreides versus everybody else. And it it appears that we're not going to get that. We're not going to get that at all. We're going forward 10 years. All that's settled over and done with. Yeah, and that's definitely, for me, that's kind of disappointing because after that second one, I was like, oh, this next one's going to be freaking badass. Yes. Because it's going to be this huge war, you know, sort of like Return of the King. You know, you get the big, huge climatic battle at the end with everybody converging, you know, right. and I was like, oh, man, it's going to be insane. But now with this 10 year jump, it's like, OK, yeah, that happened. But we don't get to see it. 
Well, so so here's the tricky thing too. Denny Villeneuve is an expert, and I and I am a big fan of him. And until he does poorly, I have full confidence in Denny Villeneuve. I really do. He's demonstrated the ability to give us super solid entertainment in a time, Nick, where most people aren't providing that. Yeah. You know, and Villeneuve has a track record mm-hmm. of, of giving us good stuff. He has done phenomenal with Dune. I wish it was, I wish more people like it grabbed more people. It hasn't the way that I was hoping that it would. I was really hoping it would be the new star Wars. Well, yeah. the truth is I don't think anything can be. Yeah. It's, I, it's hard to, to get up to that level. You can't, it's irreplaceable. Yeah. It's it. There's star Wars and there's original trilogy and then there's everything else, yeah. you know, and it, Dune is just everything else. Now I will say that Denny Villeneuve's Dune part two is probably in my top 20 movies of all time list. Yeah. My niece who is a senior in high school, well, she was a junior when the movie came out, but uh, it, it was her favorite movie of the year. She loved it. She went and saw it like three or four times. Yeah. Uh, you know, and she's, she's a girl in high school. You know, right. I, I, I really was surprised that, a, a, and she's Wait, a cheerleader. Girls could like it too. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, but she's, you know, like, you know, the cheerleader type and like, you know, hanging out with her friends and doing all that. Like, right. I, I just wouldn't picture, but she's your Dune. niece. So she's got a little bit of nerd. in her. Yeah. Yeah. She definitely does. <laughs> uh, so yeah, she loved it. And you know, a lot of people, uh, did as well, but yeah, it, it didn't really, you know, have that huge audience pull where, uh, it, it it didn't have the audience pull I thought it was going to have either. Um, I mean, it was really successful at the box office. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a flop right, by any means. But it could have been more. Yeah. It could have been more. Yeah. So they kind of got off to a bad start with the whole dual release. We won't even go into all that. We've already... That's yeah. old news, guys. But look, Dune Part 3, he's riding it right now. Who knows? We might have a a whole, you know slew of flashbacks that take us through the things that happened to Paul yeah. before we see him as he is in a 10 year time jump. Cause yeah. I will tell you, he will be much different 10 years later. Yeah. It, it, he, if you don't know the story, you're in for a shock because he's not going to be the Paul Atreides you saw last. He's going to be totally different. Uh, if that's in fact the Paul Atreides, if we go that far ahead and it appears that's what Denny Villeneuve is doing. So yeah. there uh, it is. Uh, our, now, Doom Prophecy comes out next month. Uh, yeah. It comes out in less than a month from now. Right. Right. Um, uh, what, what, are you looking forward to that series? Plus, you got the uh, the uh, Dune Awakening game that comes out in 2025. Yeah. I am very much looking forward to Dune Prophecy. It 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 really doesn't have any connectivity to the Villeneuve films. Yeah. Yeah. It's completely separate. Yeah. But you're back in that world again, you know, and yes, I am looking forward to it. Yeah, um, what, ab- what about the game Dune Awakening? I don't know enough about that yet. I, that, I saw the, the original teaser. Yeah, yeah. The teaser looked good. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't have time to play the games like I used to, but that's definitely <laughs> one worth looking into because I love the universe, yeah. you know? So definitely, uh, I would like to have Dune in VR. Oh, that that's what be, I would like. That'd be interesting. Walk around and get into trade disputes. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever. So yeah. anyways, guys, let us know in the comments what you think about the news about Dune Part 3 and how there's going to be a 10-year time jump. Is that going to throw it off for you? Is that what Denny Villeneuve needs to do? Is that is that the way that we need to complete Paul Atreides' arc? I don't know. Anyways, thanks for being here. We are You Are Echo Base Network. See you later. I guess.